Hi guys, in this session, I am going to explain you to understand the Red Hat System Administrator exam and Red Hat Certified Engineer exam. We have made this video on the request received from the followers of LanityGuide.net on the topic what is RSCSA and RSC exam and how to prepare for the exams. Topics discussed here is what is Red Hat certification programs and what knowledge is required to appear for the exams and what are the different level of certification programs are available. What is the exam duration, what is the certification validity and exam fee costs and also we will discuss how do we build the lab environment to practice on our own. Also, we will teach you each RSCSA and RSCE syllabus for free of cost with practical in the upcoming session. Links related to this session are mentioned in the description. Refer those links that would be easier for you to understand this session much better from basics. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more about something else, please leave your comments and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. And you are watching LanityGuide.net Tutorials. What is Red Hat Certification Programs? Red Hat is a leading software company in the business of assembling open source components for the Linux operating system. Red Hat offers different level of certification programs and it is validated through Red Hat official website and the exam certification validity is for 3 years. After that the certification will become non-current. Some of the certification programs are RSCSA that is Red Hat Certified System Administrator and RSCE Red Hat Certified Engineer and RSCSA Red Hat Certified Architecture and RSCVA Red Hat Certified Virtualization Administrator and JBCAA that is JBoss Certified Application Administrator. To earn this certification you should have a hands-on experience on Linux OS if not get trained properly. As I told you before we are just focusing only on RSCSA and RSCE exams. To become a Red Hat Certified Engineer you need to complete these exams. One is RSCSA and RSCE. Within RSCA you have a two modules one is SA1 and SA2 and within RSCE you have one module that is SA3. To achieve RSCA certification you have to complete SA1 and SA2. To achieve RSCE you have to complete RSCSA plus SA3. Let's quickly go through each exam's requirement. Argo CSA Red Hat Certified System Administrator Argo CSA is an entry level certification that focuses on actual competencies at system administration including installation configuration of a Red Hat Linux OS and attach it to a live network running network services. To achieve this RSCSA certification, the student must pass the exam code that is EX200 for RSCSA and it's a 2.5 hour duration hands-on lab exam. The minimum passing score for the exam is 210 out of 300 and there is no prerequisites for this exam but Red Hat recommends preparing for the exam by taking courses in Red Hat System Administration that is SA1 and SA2 as I told you before. And if you don't have experience, please get trained by Red Hat Partner Institutes or practice yourself on your lab environment before going for exam. And RSCE, Red Hat Certified Engineer. RSCE is an advanced level certification that builds on topics covered in the RSCSA certification. To include more advanced topics such as security and installing common enterprise networking services. To achieve the RGC certification, the student must pass the RGC CSA exam EX200 and in addition EX300 and it's a 3.5 hour hands-on lab exam. But there is an option if you go directly for RGC CE without RGC CSA when you have done any pre-certification like RGC CSA also you can go for directly RGC CE but they will ask you to complete RGC CSA. Yes, but you don't need to complete two modules that is SA1 and SA2 on RSCSA. You just do SA2 on RSCSA and get the certification of RSCSA and do RSCE. So SA2 plus SA3 is sufficient 
to have argosy assay plus argosy but if you are going to do only argosy assay then you have to do assay 1 and assay 2 later after few week or few month if you decided to go for ce then you have to do assay 3 additionally hope you are clear on this part and red hat recommends preparing for the exam by taking the course for this argosy is linux essential linux administration and linux net Networking and security that is SA1, SA2, and SA3. Again, if you don't have experience, please get trained by Red Hat Partner Institutes or practice yourself on your lab environment. Exam fees for RGS CSA is around 7500 plus tax, and for RGS CE, again 7500 plus tax. Some institutes they charge additionally for books around 3000 rupees or more. Again, they charge for giving the training around 10k to 12k. This price may vary depending on the location and monthly offers. This is uh, approximate fees details. Please reach out to the nearest Red Hat Partner Institutes for more information on the fees details. If you wish to practice and get trained by yourself, we can help you on that part. Only thing you need is some SPAS servers or some available virtual machines on your laptop or desktop to practice. Once you have gotten knowledge on Linux OS with a hands-on experience, then you can straight away go for the certification. And we will guide you how to build the lab environment for your practice purpose. Course contents for SA1 are, these are the topics, introduction to Linux OS, history, OS installation, basic commands, how to work with Linux OS, system booting, file system directory, hierarchy and how to use the text editors to create a file or delete a file how to copy a file and move a file and how to compress and archiving files and user group administration and password policies these are the Linux essentials available on SA1 and SA2 course contents are how to manage the file and folder permission and how to provide advanced file permissions access control list how to create soft links and hard links software package management using RPM and DM listing and managing the process, managing the services and demands, storing and analyzing the logs, disk management, logical volume manager that is LVM, swap memory management, RAID, mounting local and remote shared folders, shell scripting, job scheduling using cron. These are the course contents available on SA2. And for SA3 that is advanced level system administration content to configure and management of multiple networking sites services that is M, FTP, NFS, Samba, ISCSI, DSCP, DNS, Apache web server, SendMail as well as administration of network in advanced level and automated OS installation over network and configuring MariaDB database and finally Linux container preview. So these are the course contents available on SA1, SA2 and SA3. Record softwares to practice on your own one is hypervisor software, virtual software that is Oracle VM VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. Oracle VM VirtualBox is a virtualization software freely available, but VMware Workstation is a commercial product requires license. Also, you need a OS, Linux OS that is CentOS 7 or RHEL 7, 32 bit or 64 bit, depend on your laptop or desktop architecture, download the respective OS. And we prefer to use CentOS because this is a lab environment not a production environment and additionally you require PuTTY and WinSCP software but PuTTY is a tool to take a remote connection of your Linux machine from your Windows OS and WinSCP is a file transferring tool to copy a file from Windows to Linux so WinSCP is not required right now and we will show you how to download and install these softwares in the upcoming session. So please get it downloaded and keep it in your laptop. And this is how we create our own lab environment. You have a laptop or desktop on which you have installed Windows and you just download and install the virtualization software as I told you before that is VMware Workstation or Oracle VirtualBox. On top of that software we will install the Linux OS. 
and we will show you how to install it straight away we cannot show you how to install the OS because without understanding the file system architecture and the standard partition record to install a OS you will not understand so after giving few introduction of Linux OS we will show you how to install the OS few tips build your own lab environment and practice regularly because Red Hat is a strong OS and requires hands-on experience increase your knowledge through the training videos, informative articles and online tutorials and just focus on your exams. If you find these videos helpful, please do appreciate our efforts and hit like button and share with your friends about us. Subscribe our YouTube channel to get further updates and stay connected with us on social networking sites. Thank you.